So I am reading the Daily Laws and I'm going to try to be very consistent, even though I'm very tired tonight because I started day shift and um, my body's used to night shift. So this first one, August 1st, is the Hypnotist Art. And I stitched um, Get Out <laughs> so that... um. We can speak about the hypnotist because that's what comes to mind when I think of it. All right. So the hypnotist art. The goal of persuasive speech is often to create a kind of hypnosis. You are distracting people, lowering their defenses, making them more vulnerable to suggestion. Learn the hypnotist lessons of repetition and affirmation. Key elements in putting a subject to sleep. Repetition involves using the same words over and over, preferably a word with emotional content, taxes, liberals, bigots. The effect is mesmerizing. So they're saying putting them to sleep. Mm. But, you know, we're woke. So, But putting them to sleep, you know, that methodical getting that set in their brain. So the effect is mesmerizing. Ideas can be permanently implanted in people's unconscious simply by being repeated often enough. Affirmation is simply the making of strong positive statements like the hypnotist command. Seductive language should have a kind of boldness, which will cover up a multitude of sins. Your audience will be so caught up in your bold language that they won't have time to reflect on whether or not it's true. Never say, I don't think the other side made a wise de decision. Say, we deserve better or they have made a mess of things. That's playing like side against side. Affirmative language is active language full of verbs, imperatives and short sentences. So this daily law is cut out, I believe, perhaps, in my opinion, and head straight for the heart. So this is the art of seduction. Use the demonic power of words to sow confusion. This is pretty deep, y'all. Tell me what you think.